Jackson, Jackson Junior High are learning all about alcohol. First off, let's not forget that there is such a thing as a legal drinking age. And in many places, the buying or even the possessing of alcohol, liquor, if you're underage, can mean problems. Now, keeping that in mind, at what age do you think drinking should begin? Jennifer? I think 18 would be a good age to start. You weren't even thought well, about Mark, it. What, why, it's what already 18. I, I don't see any reason why you have to be that old. I mean, maybe for hard liquor or something <laughs> like that, but beer or wine or something like that, I think you should be maybe 16. Mm. See? <laughs> well, I think the older you are, the better, because besides your body being more mature and being able to handle it more, you're ma more mature. <laughs> and, you know, and you know how much you can handle. Fred, do you really think uh, that you're old enough? Uh, but if you're old enough to drive when you're 16, then you've got enough judgment and maturity to, to drink when you're 16. I think it's... I mean, you, I can, think you can get a little bit when age you have, have one person have at a time. Here we go. Betty? I know what, what they would say if you call on him. Like, they'll say each person is individual and it, you, each person can handle his own amount and that no one else can decide for you and stuff. But I think until you're 18, when you're 18, just about everybody can handle it to the best of their ability, as best they're ever going to. So they should wait till they're 18 before they try it. Oh. Well, what's the matter, Cookie? Why don't you agree? Now, what's a, what's a good age to begin drinking, you think? Well, I, I think it depends on the individual. I mean, like, there's 30-year-old men laying in the gutter, you know? They can't <laughs> drink yet either. I mean, oh. You know, yeah. 18 and 30, what's the difference? You're saying they could be just as immature yeah, at just, 30. Yeah, just as immature as, as they are when they're 14 or just as mature, yeah. you know? Okay, Ken? The people that are in the gutter at 30 are probably the people that started drinking they were 11 and 12. How do you know? Well, that's just <laughs> kind of saying it. Well, how do you know? They probably didn't, they probably, they weren't so, they, they started out being irresponsible when they're drinking and, and they still are at 30. Bobby, what do you think about that? Well, 18 is a good age, you know. You may be, after you start driving, you know, that's one, you know, responsibility that you take on. So if you can take on alcohol, the same 18 time. is a good age. Right. Okay. Mm. Well, I don't understand why kids want to start drinking in the first place when they know how, you know, how bad it can be. People like that are ancient. Oh, yeah. What do you mean by that? Well, like, most of the accidents on roads have been caused by drunken people and things like that, and it can really be dangerous. Don't forget, on Monday, we'll have that report of the interview with the chief of police. All right? Now have a nice weekend. Oh, Sarah, what time's your party tonight? About 7.30. Okay. Hey, Cookie, how come you weren't invited to Sarah's party tonight? Sarah's having a party? Yeah, Nora said there are just going to be some girls and their parents aren't going to be there. Oh, I wouldn't go to that if you paid me. That's kid stuff. Yeah. Oh, I think somebody's yeah. <laughs> Cut that out. Hey, uh, let's go to this party, too. What do you mean? Crash it? Yeah, why not? Hey, let's do. We know everybody there. I'm in. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. It'll be lots of fun. We'll just stop by for a while. Well, okay. Great. I'm going to bring you some brew. Yeah, what are you going to get? Oh, I'll grab it out of the fridge. My old man's not looking. I do it all the time. Cool. Listen, I left out plenty of food for you kids. Oh, and there's a frozen pizza in the refrigerator in case you feel like that, okay? I want your girls to be asleep when we get home. It'll be late. Agreed? Agreed. Good night, honey. Good night. Good night. Hey, man, don't be doing that. Somebody might see us. Big deal. So I'm having a little beer. So what? There's Sarah's. Come on. Wow, what a dull-looking party. People, they need us. I'm not too sure I want to go to this. It's a dumb party anyway. So Come let's on. Go. Come on, Cookie. Just for a little while. Come on. Hey, Sarah, what's happening? Sorry. Girls come. I'm going to the party with this girl. Yeah. Ah, you want to 
Provide some refreshment. Ta da! Hey, out of sight! Crazy of Freddy's Bridge. Hey, nobody said anything about drinking. This is my house and my. Oh, it won't hurt. Make you relax. Be real cool. So, how about it? Want a drinky pool? Huh? Oh, come off it, Sarah. How about you, Cookie? Yeah, sure, Freddy. Come on, everybody. Relax. Have some wine, listen to some music. Have a blast. Let me ask you this. When was the first time that you ever tasted alcohol? Okay, Sarah? Well, about three years ago on New Year's Eve, we got, were at a New Year's Eve party in Kentucky. My mother gave me a sip of her champagne, but I didn't like it. <laughs> that was the first time? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time you ever had any yeah. champagne? Yeah. Fred? Well, I don't think you have to be at a party just to um, try your alcohol. I think, you know, like, you do it anytime you want to. Like I did. See, my, you know, my old man, he drinks a lot. And I see him open up the fridge all the time. So I guess I was about oh, eight years old. And I went, you know, that's when I want a beer. So I went in the fridge and got it out, you know. So no big deal. Tell me something, Ken. If you had children, how would you want them to first encounter alcohol, alcoholic beverages? Well, if I had any control over it, like, I, I, I mean, what, I probably would, but. I wouldn't let them go, like uh, Fred said, go to the refrigerator. I'd pr I probably wouldn't keep beer around where they could get it. Did everybody first taste the alcohol except for Fred? Everybody else in the room, tell me, uh, was it usually with the parents present or not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you first experience, I guess most everybody's had their parents around, you know, to give it to them. Well, do you think there should be some sort of control or supervision over encountering alcohol? Yeah. yeah. I, I think the first that. time you drink is with your parents, but I think first time you, well, n me, first time you get drunk is usually with your friends uh -huh. and, and at parties. Yeah. That's when oh, you mean if, the, if, the yeah, students, if you have a party or something, if you drink alone, you might just drink as much as you want. You might overindulge or abuse alcohol, don't you think? Yeah. Isn't it wise to have your parents uh, watching after you? Yeah. When you begin? They probably would. I think, um, like, you know, at parties, people, well, at parties I go to, people don't really just drink it because they like it, you know. They drink it to get drunk. So you think it's better to drink it under parental supervision, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, yeah, you want to abuse it in front of your parents, which I would. Uh, all right. Now, it seems to me, from what you've all been saying, that the following conclusion is true that while drinking under controlled supervision of your parents or parents' friends may not necessarily be a bad thing, drinking alone, like Carla said, can lead to problems. But let's not forget that matter of the legal drinking age. Also, I think as the only adult here, I should present a view held by many adults, perhaps even most, that even if there were no legal drinking age, Kids your age simply can't handle alcohol. No. No. I'm an old crash your air play body, and I recommend El Chico wine. Get nice and high, fly around the room body. Man, sidewalks is for sissies. So if you want to lie in the gutter like a real man, try wino. Straight from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> this is the nicest oh wine I ever tasted. It's the bestest wine in the whole wide world. Man, this thing's almost empty. How much have you had anyway? This is the one. She drank the whole bottle. No, she didn't. She just had a little taste. It was Carol. It was not. I didn't even like it. It was Nora. Hey, she drank the whole bottle. Come back, you wino. What's the matter, you drunk or something? Well, well, if it isn't Nora. Had enough to drink. Oh, well, come on, I just tasted a little. I wanted to see what it was like. Nora, what's going on in there? Fred's getting a little drunk. Oh, great. Hey, remember what happened when Fred got drunk at the basketball game? He started a fight with one of the teachers. Oh, wow, what should I do? Dude. Call the police. That'll serve them right. No, call the neighbors. Ask them for help. Don't do anything. They'll leave when they're out of alcohol. Tell them to leave or else. 
I better go in there and do something. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's good food. Yeah, Al has worked on this bread for three days. Well, it's really good. It's nice bite. Where's Don? He's in the pool. Come join us when you get filled up. Okay. I'm sorry. I just don't think school is the proper place for my son to be taught his drinking habits. But he's not taught drinking habits, Alice. This alcohol project gives kids information. I know Sarah will need to make a decision about drinking. We're not always around. Our son Stephen came up to me this afternoon. Looked at the buffet and said, good, Dad. It's better not to drink on an empty stomach. That's what I mean. They're learning. Give them some facts. Get it out in the open. Let them recognize for themselves what their responsibilities are. Uh, I'm almost empty. Uh, can I get anybody anything? Oh, no, thank you. No, we should be going. We have to drive anyway. I told you about checking in on Sarah's party at our place. When are you guys leaving? Oh, come on, sir. We just got here. Get it off me. Party? Hey, man, don't start none of that stuff. Please go. Man, you're asking for it. I'll lay off it, Fred. Get him out of my house. Wait a minute, sir. Give me a second to talk to him. Come on, Freddy. Will you just tell me what I did that was so bad? Sometimes you're a real bummer. Oh, give me one of your lips. I'm going to give you a fat lip. That's what I'm going to give you. Hey, booze. Leave their booze alone. What kind of problems do the police encounter with minors who drink? Well, Jennifer, much the same problems as they encounter with uh, adults who use alcoholic beverages to an excess. Of course, alcoholic beverages do tend to lower the inhibitions, and uh, the result sometimes is disorderly conduct, such as rowdy conduct on the streets or uh, cursing or fighting. Gin, green stuff, brandy. Whiskey. Hey, man, where did you get that stuff? A gift from Sarah's dad. Put that stuff back. They don't belong to you. We're not allowed not to... Not allowed. Says who? My parents will be furious when they find out about their liquor, Freddy. She's right. Put it back and let's go. Oh, uh, who needs you? <laughs> hey, Norm, how about another drink? Uh-uh, I'm not getting drunk like you, Fred. Can't you get him to stop? Are you kidding? All I gotta do is try and he'll get a girl who doesn't care if he drinks or not. Doesn't he know he's too young to drink? He doesn't care. He does a pack big. What can I do? I don't know. You're so smart. I thought maybe you'd know. Well, you're in the cusp of alcohol, too. You know we can all get into trouble for this. I told him that and he just told me I was crazy. What was that? Oh, wow. God, what a bunch of babies. Good sissies. You know if it weren't for me, you'd all be having a pretty lousy time. Leave my house. Right now. Your house. Well, this is what I think of your house. Man, you are not cool. Leave me alone. Come on, Freddy. You too. I thought you were my friend. I want another drink. Now, what the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on in here? <laughs> 